Absolutely. We we set out a game plan. We stuck to it right to the very last seconds of the game. I mean, even in the 93rd minute, we've got Massimo Luongo pressing their centre-backs on the edge of their 18-yard box. We watched Barnsley last week against Fulham and they pressed Fulham to death. And we thought our game plan was to try and Barnsley Barnsley today. And I felt the players did that to a tee. They really did and they kept it going. The easy option when you got your second goal is to try and sit back and just soak up the pressure. But no, we put the lads on, the substitutes came on, had a magnificent effect in the game as well and just gave us that energy when things were starting to drop a little bit and we still got after the ball. And um, I suppose if you're, if you're being greedy, I think we could have scored one or two more uh, with the opportunities that we had. But another crucial point from my point of view was the point black save that our goalkeeper makes a minute before half time. We're 1 0 up and we're comfortably 1 0 up, and then they get a bounce of the ball in the 18 yard box, and uh, Cammy Dawson makes a hell of a block. So we're heading at half time happy instead of on a downer, and they'll have got a hell of a lift if they had scored that goal. So, um, crucial periods in the game. How <laughs> Jacob Murphy was excellent, Kadeem Harris was excellent, Julian Borner was excellent. Listen, you've got 11 players who were excellent. If we're going to focus on them, I think our two wide men gave them a lot of trouble all day. And Jacob must have thought all his Christmases come at, one, come at once with that, his first touch of the ball at home for Sheffield Wednesday after a lone move and you're passing it into the back of the net. He did great. He did great. I'm just trying to encourage him. I'm sorry. It's a bit weird, I don't know if it's old-fashioned now that you, you, you try and play wingers that actually want the ball to take on full-backs and want to stay wide. Modern-day football seems to be wingers coming off the side into pockets behind a midfield and trying to play in there with full-backs overlapping, so... Hey, I'm giving away all my tactics now, aren't I? <laughs> Shut up, bully. <laughs> Listen, they're out-and-out out wingers, so why ask them to do something that's... They want, you want them to do the most natural thing, and I'm, I'm very much, I think, as a coach, trying to keep the game simple and that's what we said to the two lads and um, hey, they did great, they did great. Did what? it surprise you that Brucey let, uh, let him come here? I think when you're able to sign good players you're always surprised. I was surprised that QPR let Massimo Luongo go, um, I was surprised that Cardiff let Kareem Harris go, I was surprised that Hamburg let the boy Bates come out, a 22 year old, uh, well, a future the kids got in the game. So. Um, Surprised but delighted would be the words I would use. Was it always the plan to play Murphy today? No, Bannon was due to start. I was going to start with the same team that won at Reading last week. I think I would like to think I'll, I'll be quite uh, quite happy to to play teams that get success. I don't think anybody deserved to miss out today, but. Weebaz just tweaked a, a little bit in his calf yesterday morning in training, so there was a decision to make. Do I just put Massimo straight in or do I go a little bit more offensive, uh, play Adam in there and play Jacob out wide? And uh, listen, you'll never die by decisions and they got lucky in the first minute. It's just like it's like a lottery win, isn't it? So, uh, happy days. How long do you think that Barry's going to be? Oh, well, hopefully it's just one game. Listen, if I... If we had tried to play with Baz today, we would have started the game, but there's always a fear that it's a red flag and if he tears a calf, then you're looking at five, six weeks. So why take the chance, especially now that we we do have really good options um, to fill the gap for even for somebody of the quality of Barry Bannon. You've got people like Massimo there, you've got Adam Reach who's very flexible, you've got the wingers who can play. So, um, yeah, the, the, the transfer work since the beginning of the season has been really, really good and we're really, really happy. Can I ask you, uh, that's two wins out of two, has mm -hmm. that improved your chances, increased your chances of landing the job? What, what I would say on that is I will come in Monday morning, prepare a training session, trying to beat Millwall next week and that's all I can do. Listen, I've got no say in that. Yeah, as a coach, you control what you can control. Um, that's picking a team, trying to keep players fit. Um, it's other people at the club to make any sort of decision on that and, and I'm sure they're relatively happy with the way things are going at the moment, so we have a tough, ga tough, tough game down at Millwall next week, and uh, that's all my aim is to try and put a team out that can hopefully win three points down there.